hello. Good morning. I am Megan. This is Everybody Yoga with Megan. <coughs> Allergy Central over here for me. So for today's yoga, I'm really thinking about um, the difference in being like a boss and a leader. Oh, so many things. Right? Like a lot of times right now that everybody wants to be like a boss babe or, you know, whatever. And I just cringe when I hear that. Because to me, a leader is someone who is in it with you and helping you grow and giving you tools and is empowering those around them to go on the journey um, as, as their own, to their best abilities, right? Whereas a boss is mitigating damage and giving limitations. I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into all of this, but I just invite us all to recognize that we are leaders in all arenas of our lives. Leaders in our homes, leaders in our friendships, leaders at work. And what I mean is we have the opportunity to give everyone around us skills, to share what we know, and to offer them the opportunity to bloom where they are planted. And the best way to do that is by doing that ourselves. Anyways, I'm, I'm a lot agitated. It's like 7 a.m. and I got a work text that's like a little aggressive and a little rude. And we don't even start working until 10. So I'm a little riled up. Let's get started in child's pose. Coming into your breath. Press yourself up to all fours and let's take some cow cat pose. One more each way. Come to a flat back, inhale, right leg up, little bird dog action, left arm reaches. Exhale, knee to elbow, expand, contract, and out, and in. Out, pause. release. Other side. We're just spending this first few moments just getting our bearings, driving down through the hand. Lengthen on the inhale. Exhale, contract. Out. In. Again, one cow cat. Come to a neutral spine, tuck your toes, hover your knees. Step to Malasana, yogi squat. Stepping back to that bear pose, toes are tucked, knees are hovering. Back to Malasana. If you need to use your block, you need to like sit on it in order to keep the heels down and work all of that. It's early in practice to be really getting into the hips and low back. 
So you just do that. Back to that bear pose. Down dog. Bring your feet to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Really squeeze the lower belly up and in and lengthen the back of the neck. We're gonna bend the spine now, rolling like water. Knees soften, spine hangs. And then inhale, halfway lift again. And soften. Expand, soften, expand, breathe. Bend your knees, roll up really slow, one vertebra at a time. down, palms forward, take a breath. Inhale, arms up. Grab opposite elbows. Recenter so they're by your ears. Lean to one side. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, pick your right knee up. Launch it behind you. We're going to land in our crescent lunge. And then walk the toes out a little further. Get nice and deep. We're pulling the tailbone towards the ground as opposed to behind us. And then lifting the lower belly up and in. You should really feel this in the front of the right thigh in your psoas. I'm going to keep my hands at heart center. But if you want to bring your arms up, please do. Step to the top of the mat. Pause. We're working on this one plane here, staying forward with the body. Inhale, let me up. Landing behind you just as far as you can, and then let that back foot wiggle a bit. Same thing as before. Tailbone reaches down, lower belly reaches up. to Tadasana. Pause. Right leg over left in eagle pose legs. Hands are still at heart center. And release. Other side. We're working here to keep the hips 
square. So as you wrap your leg around, your hips might turn a bit. You need to bring them back to center to stay in integrity with the pose. change. Hinge at the hips. You're going to keep this leg bent. Your knees should be wide out to the side. Grab your block. Stack your hips. Knee is still bent. Now straighten the leg. Half moon. to the top of the mat. Pause. Right, left knee up. Open to the side. Hinge forward. Keep the knee bent. And then come to your half moon. And back to the top. your hands to your hips. Inhale, pick your right knee up. Launch it behind you. We're going to land in our crescent lunge and then walk the toes out a little further, get nice and deep. We're pulling the tailbone towards the ground as opposed to behind us and then lifting the lower belly up and in. You should really feel this in the front of the right thigh in your psoas. I'm going to keep my hands at heart center. But if you want to bring your arms up, please do. Step to the top of the mat. Pause. We're working on this one plane here, staying forward with the body. Inhale, left knee up. Landing behind you just as far as you can, and then let that back foot wiggle a bit. Same thing as before. Tailbone reaches down, lower belly reaches up. to Tadasana. Pause. Right leg over left in eagle pose legs. Hands are still at heart center. And release other side. We're working here to keep the hips Square. So as you wrap your leg around, your hips might turn a bit. You need to bring them back to center to stay in integrity with the pose. And release. I'm going to step further back so I don't hit Holly's. Uh, Record player. Inhale, right knee up. Open your knee to the side. Work on keeping the hips forward. 
Listen for the change. Hinge at the hips. You're going to keep this leg bent. Your knee should be wide out to the side. Grab your block. Stack your hips. Knee is still bent. Now straighten the leg. Half moon. Coming back to the top of the mat. Pause. Right, left knee up. Open to the side. Hinge forward. Keep the knee bent. And then come to your half moon. And back to the top. into tree pose. You know, my preference is that you don't use your hands to place your foot, that you just allow your body to naturally land. But you do you. And we're just going to breathe here. Take any arm variation you want. I need to feel grounded. So I'm sending my fingertips as an additional set of roots down into the ground. But if you're needing to feel more light and airy, Bring the arms up overhead. Let your branches reach towards the sun. And release. Other side. And come back up to center. Close your eyes. Inhale. Let it out. One more time. Inhale. And sigh. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Pause here. Drop to your knees, untuck your toes. We're going to work on pressing the spine back. And then forward, dropping the hips and a little baby cobra. And then back. And forward. Lead with your tailbone to press the spine back. Curl the spine. Untuck the head, then drop the spine, open the throat, tailbone, curl, last 
flat. And then make your way to child's pose. If you'd like to take a traditional savasana, get in your corpse pose now. If not, we're going to end in the pose we started with, in child's pose. Gently begin to press yourself up to a seated position. At your own pace, there's no need to rush. Inhale your hands to heart center. My hope for us today is that we become leaders in our lives delegating appropriately to offer skills to others, asking for the support of our team, and building a community that has joy. Together we say, Namaste. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.